we saw our friend in the middle of Times Square tackled by a police officer. clear that what he had done was wrong and it was very easy to see in this video. It just blew up bigger than any of us ever expected. You forget corporate media, we're all going to watch this anyway and if you want to pick up on it, fine. A New York City police officer has been stripped of his badge and gun for allegedly assaulting a bike rider. Body checked a bicyclist, slammed him to the ground. Look at that. He throws a tackle onto cyclist Christopher Long. The officer says it was self-defense, but he's recently been stripped of his badge and his gun. Video that's posted now on YouTube showing a New York City police officer slamming a cyclist to the ground. And he went flying off the bicycle onto the sidewalk. Tonight, the repercussions for shoving a critical mass biker. Manhattan DA Robert Morgenthau is now investigating the incident. That officer you're talking about is now working behind a desk while the NYPD investigates. And for us, it was a really powerful message of uh, the power of independent media. Uh, come on. Listen up, y'all. Listen up, y'all. Listen, I'm going to be your favorite MC. Let's say you're at an event and something gets documented on your cell phone, something crazy, something intense, something that the world should probably see. You can send that video and it will immediately show up on your YouTube account. It's important to be prepared with this functionality because there might not be time to go upload a video before somebody seizes it from you. What you want to do is go to youtube.com slash mobile. On that page, you'll get an email address that you can add to your cell phone's contact list. And then once you've filmed something that you want to share with the world, send it as an email to that email address. And within minutes, it'll be available on your YouTube channel. friend is now not only receiving money for his medical bills from being hurt by a cop, but he's also now able to continue bike activism and feels that justice in this one instance, you know, prevailed.